A rotating frame of reference is a special case of a non-inertial reference frame that is rotating relative to an inertial reference frame. An everyday example of a rotating reference frame is the surface of the Earth. This article considers only frames rotating about a fixed axis. For more general rotations, see Euler angles. Topic: <laughs> Fictitious forces. All non-inertial reference frames exhibit fictitious forces. Rotating reference frames are characterized by 3: the centrifugal force, the Coriolis force, and, for non-uniformly rotating reference frames, the Euler force. Scientists in a rotating box can measure the speed and direction of their rotation by measuring these fictitious forces. For example, Léon Foucault was able to show the Coriolis force that results from Earth's rotation using the Foucault pendulum. If Earth were to rotate many times faster, these fictitious forces could be felt by humans, as they are when on a spinning carousel. Topic. Relating rotating frames to stationary frames The following is a derivation of the formulas for accelerations as well as fictitious forces in a rotating frame. It begins with the relation between a particle's coordinates in a rotating frame and its coordinates in an inertial stationary frame. Then, by taking time derivatives, formulas are derived that relate the velocity of the particle as seen in the two frames, and the acceleration relative to each frame. Using these accelerations, the fictitious forces are identified by comparing Newton's second law as formulated in the two different frames. Topic. Relation between positions in the two frames To derive these fictitious forces, it's helpful to be able to convert between the coordinates x, y, z, display style left x, y, z, right, of the rotating reference frame and the coordinates x, y, z, display style left x, y, z, right, of an inertial reference frame with the same origin. If the rotation is about the z display style z axis with a constant angular velocity omega display style omega or theta t equals omega t display style theta t equals omega t and the two reference frames coincide at time t equals 0 display style t equals 0 the transformation from rotating coordinates to inertial coordinates can be written x equals x cuz theta t minus y sin theta t Display style x equals x cos left theta t right y sin left theta t right y equals x sin theta t plus y cos theta t display style y equals x sin left theta t right plus y co s left theta t right Whereas the reverse transformation is x equals x cos minus theta t minus y sin minus theta t display style x equals x cos left theta t right y sin left theta t right y equals x sin minus theta t plus y cos minus theta t display style y equals x sin left theta t right plus y cos left theta t right this result can be obtained from a rotation matrix introduce the unit vectors i caret 
K carrot display style hat bold symbol i math hat bold symbol j math hat bold symbol k representing standard unit basis vectors in the rotating frame the time derivatives of these unit vectors are found next suppose the frames are aligned at t equals 0 and the z axis is the axis of rotation then for a counterclockwise rotation through angle omega t i caret t equals cuz theta t sin theta t display style hat bold symbol i math t equals cuz theta t sin theta t where the x y components are expressed in the stationary frame likewise caret t equals minus sin theta t cuz theta t display style hat bold symbol j math t equals sin theta t cuz theta t thus the time derivative of these vectors which rotate without changing magnitude is d d t i caret t equals omega minus sin theta t cuz theta t equals omega caret Display style frac mathrm d mathrm d t hat bold symbol i math t equals omega sin theta t cos theta t equals omega hat bold symbol j math d d t caret t equals omega minus cos theta t minus sin theta t equals minus omega i caret display style frac mathrm d mathrm d t hat bold symbol j math t equals omega cos theta t sin theta t equals omega hat bold symbol i math where omega D D T theta T display style omega equiv frac mathrm D mathrm D T theta T. This result is the same as found using a vector cross product with the rotation vector omega display style bold symbol omega pointed along the z axis of rotation omega equals Zero, zero, omega. Display style bold symbol omega equals zero, zero, omega. Namely, d, d, t, u, caret equals omega times u caret. Display style frac mathrm d mathrm d t hat bold symbol u equals bold symbol omega times hat bold symbol u, where u caret display style hat bold symbol u is either i caret display style hat bold symbol i math or caret Display style hat bold symbol J math. Topic Time derivatives in the two frames. Introduce the unit vectors I carrot carrot K carrot Display style hat bold symbol i math hat bold symbol j math hat bold symbol k, representing standard unit basis vectors in the rotating frame. As they rotate, they will remain normalized. If we let them rotate at the speed of omega, display style omega, about an axis omega, display style bold symbol omega, 
then each unit vector u caret display style hat bold symbol u of the rotating coordinate system abides by the following equation d d t u caret equals omega times u caret display style frac mathrm d mathrm d t hat bold symbol u equals bold symbol omega times hat u then if we have a vector function f display style bold symbol f f t equals f x t i caret plus f y t caret plus f z t k caret Display style bold symbol f t equals f underscore x t hat bold symbol i math plus f underscore y t hat bold symbol j math plus f underscore z t hat bold symbol k, and we want to examine its first derivative. We have using the product rule of differentiation d d t f equals d f x d t i caret plus d i caret d t f x plus d f y d t caret plus d Carrot D T F Y plus D F Z D T K carrot plus D K carrot D T F Z equals D F X D T I carrot plus D F Y D T carrot plus D F Z D T K carrot plus omega times f x i caret plus f y caret plus f z k caret equals d f d t r plus omega times f t display style begin aligned frac mathrm d mathrm d t bold symbol f and equals frac mathrm d f underscore x mathrm d t hat bold symbol i math plus frac mathrm d hat bold symbol i math mathrm d t f underscore x plus frac mathrm d f underscore Score Y Mathem D T hat bold symbol J Math plus FRAC Mathem D hat bold symbol J Math Mathem D T F underscore Y plus FRAC Mathem D F underscore Z Mathem D T hat bold symbol K plus FRAC Mathem D hat bold symbol K Mathem D T F underscore Z and equals FRAC Mathem D F underscore X Mathem D T hat bold symbol I math plus FRAC Mathem D F underscore Y Mathem D T hat bold symbol J math plus FRAC Mathem D F underscore Z Mathem D T hat bold symbol K plus left bold symbol Omega times left F underscore X hat bold symbol I math plus F underscore Y hat bold symbol J math plus F underscore Z hat bold symbol K right right and equals left FRAC Mathem D bold symbol F Mathem D T right underscore 
underscore R plus bold symbol omega times F T end aligned where D F D T R display style left F R A C Mathem D bold symbol F Mathem D T right underscore R is the rate of change of F display style bold symbol F as observed in the rotating coordinate system. As a shorthand the differentiation is expressed as ddt f equals ddt r plus omega times f display style frac mathrm d mathrm dt bold symbol f equals left left frac mathrm d mathrm dt right underscore r plus bold symbol omega times right bold symbol f this result is also known as the transport theorem in analytical dynamics and is also sometimes referred to as the basic kinematic equation Topic. Relation between velocities in the two frames A velocity of an object is the time derivative of the object's position, or v equals d e f d r d t Display style math bf v stackrel mathrm def equals frac mathrm d math bf r mathrm d t. The time derivative of a position r t display style bold symbol r t in a rotating reference frame has two components: one from the explicit time dependence due to motion of the particle itself, and another from the frame's own rotation. Applying the result of the previous subsection to the displacement R T display style bold symbol R T the velocities in the two reference frames are related by the equation V I equals D E F D R D T equals D R D T R plus Omega times R equals V R plus Omega times R Display style math bf v underscore i stackrel mathrm def equals frac mathrm d math bf r mathrm d t equals left frac mathrm d math bf r mathrm d t right underscore mathrm r plus bold symbol omega times math bf r equals math bf v underscore mathrm r plus bold symbol omega times math bf r where subscript I means the inertial frame of reference, and R means the rotating frame of reference. Topic: <laughs> Relation between accelerations in the two frames. Acceleration is the second time derivative of position, or the first time derivative of velocity. A i equals d e F D two R D T two I equals D V D T I equals D D T R plus Omega times d r d t r plus omega times r Display style math bf o underscore mathrm i stackrel mathrm def equals left frac mathrm d caret two math bf r mathrm d t caret two right underscore mathrm i equals left frac mathrm d math bf v mathrm d t right underscore mathrm i equals left left frac mathrm d mathrm d t right underscore mathrm r plus bold symbol omega times right left left f frac mathrm d math bf r mathrm d t right underscore mathrm r plus bold symbol omega times math bf r right 
where subscript I means the inertial frame of reference. Carrying out the differentiations and rearranging some terms yields the acceleration in the rotating reference frame a r equals a i minus 2 omega times v r minus omega times omega times r minus d omega d t times r Display style math bf a underscore mathrm r equals math bf a underscore mathrm i minus two bold symbol omega times math bf v underscore mathrm r bold symbol omega times bold symbol omega times math bf r frac mathrm d bold symbol omega mathrm d t times math bf r where a r equals D E F D two R D T two R Display style Math BF underscore Mathem R stackrel Mathem def equals left FRAC Mathem D carrot two Math BF R Mathem D T carrot two right underscore Mathem R is the apparent acceleration in the rotating reference frame the term minus omega times omega times r display style bold symbol omega times bold symbol omega times math bfr represents centrifugal acceleration and the term minus 2 omega times v R display style minus two bold symbol omega times math bf v underscore mathrm r is the Coriolis acceleration. The last term minus d omega d t times r display style frac mathrm d bold symbol omega mathrm d t times math bf r is the Euler acceleration and is zero in uniformly rotating frames. Topic: <laughs> Newton's second law in the two frames. When the expression for acceleration is multiplied by the mass of the particle, the three extra terms on the right-hand side result in fictitious forces in the rotating reference frame, that is, apparent forces that result from being in a non-inertial reference frame, rather than from any physical interaction between bodies. Using Newton's second law of motion, F equals m a Display style math bf f equals m math bf a. We obtain the Coriolis force f c o r i o l i s equals minus two m omega times v. R display style math bff underscore mathrm Coriolis equals minus two meters bold symbol omega times math bf v underscore mathrm r the centrifugal force f c e n t r i f u g a l equals minus m omega times omega times r display style math bff underscore mathrm centrifugal equals m bold symbol omega times bold symbol omega times math bf r and the euler force f e u l e R equals minus M 
d omega d t times r Display style math bff underscore mathrm Euler equals m frac mathrm d bold symbol omega mathrm d t times math bff r, where m display style m is the mass of the object being acted upon by these fictitious forces. Notice that all three forces vanish when the frame is not rotating. That is when omega equals zero. Display style bold symbol omega equals zero. For completeness, the inertial acceleration a i display style math bf o underscore mathrm i due to impressed external forces f i m p display style math bf f underscore mathrm m can be determined from the total physical force in the inertial non-rotating frame for example force from physical interactions such as electromagnetic forces using newton's second law in the inertial frame f i m p equals m a i display style math bf f underscore mathrm imp equals m math bf o underscore mathrm i Newton's law in the rotating frame then becomes F R equals F I M P plus F C E N T R I F U G A L plus f c o r i o l i s plus f e u l e r equals m a r Display style math bf f underscore r equals math bf f underscore mathrm imp plus math bf f underscore mathrm centrifugal plus math bf f underscore mathrm coriolis plus math bf f underscore mathrm euler equals m math bf underscore r. In other words, to handle the laws of motion in a rotating reference frame, treat the fictitious forces like real forces and pretend you are in an inertial frame. Obviously, a rotating frame of reference is a case of a non-inertial frame. Thus the particle in addition to the real force is acted upon by a fictitious force. The particle will move according to Newton's second law of motion if the total force acting on it is taken as the sum of the real and fictitious forces. This equation has exactly the form of Newton's second law, except that in addition to F, the sum of all forces identified in the inertial frame, there is an extra term on the right. This means we can continue to use Newton's second law in the non-inertial frame provided we agree that in the non-inertial frame we must add an extra force-like term, often called the inertial force. Topic. Centrifugal force In classical mechanics, centrifugal force is an outward force associated with rotation. Centrifugal force is one of several so-called pseudo-forces also known as inertial forces, so named because, unlike real forces, they do not originate in interactions with other bodies situated in the environment of the particle upon which they act. Instead, centrifugal force originates in the rotation of the frame of reference within which observations are made. Topic. Coriolis effect. The mathematical expression for the Coriolis force appeared in an 1835 paper by a French scientist Gaspard Gustave Coriolis in connection with hydrodynamics, and also in the tidal equations of Pierre Simon Laplace in 1778. Early in the 20th century, the term Coriolis force began to be used in connection with meteorology. Perhaps the most commonly encountered rotating reference frame is the Earth. 
Moving objects on the surface of the Earth experience a Coriolis force, and appear to veer to the right in the northern hemisphere, and to the left in the southern. Movements of air in the atmosphere and water in the ocean are notable examples of this behavior, rather than flowing directly from areas of high pressure to low pressure, as they would on a non rotating planet. Winds and currents tend to flow to the right of this direction north of the equator, and to the left of this direction south of the equator. This effect is responsible for the rotation of large cyclones. See Coriolis effects in meteorology. Topic: Euler force. In classical mechanics, the Euler acceleration, named for Leonard Euler, also known as azimuthal acceleration or transverse acceleration, is an acceleration that appears when a non-uniformly rotating reference frame is used for analysis of motion, and there is variation in the angular velocity of the reference frame's axis. This article is restricted to a frame of reference that rotates about a fixed axis. The Euler force is a fictitious force on a body that is related to the Euler acceleration by f equals ma, where a is the Euler acceleration and m is the mass of the body. Equals. Topic: Use in magnetic resonance. Equals. It is convenient to consider magnetic resonance in a frame that rotates at the Larmor frequency of the spins. This is illustrated in the animation below. The rotating wave approximation may also be used. See also Absolute rotation Centrifugal force rotating reference frame centrifugal force as seen from systems rotating about a fixed axis mechanics of planar particle motion fictitious forces exhibited by a particle in planar motion as seen by the particle itself and by observers in a co-rotating frame of reference coriolis force the effect of the coriolis force on the earth and other rotating systems inertial frame of reference non-inertial frame Fictitious force A more general treatment of the subject of this article.